Hi everyone, um, welcome to today's stay at home art club coming to you live from the space beside my boiler. Um, I hope you're doing okay today. Uh, today we're going to do a bit of a bit of a meditation-y thing because it started on the right sort of trajectory from Monday, the beginning of the week. Um, so you can either choose to do it as a bit of a meditation-y thing or you can just do the drawing. Whatever, it's up to you. Um, okay, so I'll show you some pictures and pretty flowers to get started off with. So they were all lovely. I hope that's given you a few ideas and um, see which ones you've liked. Um, and now I'm going to show you kind of the kind of thing we're going to be doing. Um, so the next one coming up is something um, I did at the end of a sort of like mindfulness course thing, and it was quite good because it was um, kind of looking at what you'd like to achieve or how you'd like to be, and how you can help yourself get those things. Um, so I'll show you the picture. So that was my picture, don't judge, it was quite nice and sketchy. Um, so with that one it was kind of thinking about what um, you could achieve by practicing your mindfulness practice. But for ours, um, we're going to think about our flower as how we want to be to get through this quarantine um, and how we can help ourselves do it. Um, so that will become a bit more apparent when you watch the video thing. Um, but the first thing you want to think of is what kind of flowers do you want to draw? Do you want to draw one big one? Do you want to draw lots of little ones? Maybe have a re we rewind and have a look at some of those ones we just looked at um, and see which ones you're thinking of. Me, personally, I always think of myself as a bit like the dandelion from Alice in Wonderland. I don't know if you remember that bit, but it kind of bops around and is a bit bouncy and all over the place and is yellow. Um, so. Uh, You'll probably see why I identify with that, um, but here's a little picture of that. Okay, lovely people, now we're on to the drawing. So, um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a floral picture. It could be a bunch of flowers, could be one flower growing. Um, I'm going to go for the style of that artist, Sharmila Banerjee. Um, and I'm going to do a kind of a face shaped pot with some flowers coming out of it because um, I really like that one. So you have a wee flick back and see which one you really like. So it could be one of the flowers with a collage background, that could be really nice. It could be one of the more stylized ones from the Tokyo Museum. Um, I'm struggling to remember what other ones I had in there. Could be the lovely vase of flowers on the table with loads of different colours coming out. But what we're going to be doing is after we've drawn our beautiful flowers, we're going to think about what qualities we're wanting to cultivate in ourselves this week. Okay, so I'm going to get started with my drawing. So if you're wanting to have a pot in your picture, I would start with the pot. I'm going to draw my pot in this nice pink colour, um, but feel free to just go for a regular pencil. I just thought I'm going to bring myself some colour today. So I'm going to go for... I'm going to go for this sort of shape of pot. It's like this, quite oh, wavy, because I'm going to make it into a bit of a face. So I do like, when I'm making my ceramics, I do like to do faces. So that's the kind of shape I'm going for, so it doesn't need to be super, um, like a beautiful Greek vase. It can be anything you want. It can just be a bowl or a shape, or not at all. You could just have your flower growing straight out the ground. So if you're wanting to do this as the kind of meditative exercise, um, we're going to have to think of the things that we're going to have in our picture. So each of our um, petals or flowers is going to be something that we'd like to cultivate um, in ourselves this week. And if you're struggling to think 
of what those might be. And what I've done is I've thought of the things that I don't want to be this week and then I've flipped them round to the positive. So this week, I'm going to show you my little, my little list. Um, I do not want to be drainingly anxious. Um, so I've flipped that round into, I want to manage my worry. Um, I do not want to catastrophize because I do that a lot. Um, so I've turned that round into not catastrophizing. Super original. Um, I don't want to be beating myself up all the time. Um, so I've flipped that around into being gentle with myself. Um, and then the last one I've got is I don't want to be snippy. Because um, I can be a real cow when I'm tired and overwhelmed. Um, so I've made that into being patient with others. So that's going to be each of my flowers. Each of my flowers is going to be those things that I want to be this week. So because I had four things I want to try and cultivate, I've given myself four stems for flowers. So I've drawn them up. One, two, three. I'm going to have three standing up tall and one flopping down. I've also done, I don't know if you can quite see it, I've drawn circles where I would like my flowers to be and that just helps me manage the space on my picture and um, to check I've got everything in the right place. If you're doing one single flower, you can have one petal for each of the things you'd like to cultivate or you can just write it into some of the petals. Um, okay, so get those bits in and then we'll get onto our water. The next bit is our water. I've also just thought plants also need sunshine, so you could maybe draw it as a sunshine. That could be quite nice. Um, so the things that are going to be in our sunshine or our water are the things that we can do to help ourselves be these qualities we're thinking of. So if I want to manage my worry, not catastrophize, be kind to myself and be patient with others, the things that I need to do are one, keep up my routine because I get grumpy if I don't know what I'm doing. Two, I need to limit the amount of news that I watch because <sighs> there's some crazy stuff out there. And um, three, I need to get enough sleep because I'm essentially a grown-up toddler and I'm not nice if I don't get enough sleep. Um, and I also need to take regular breaks because um, otherwise you just work yourself up into a tizzy. So those are the things that I'm going to be writing inside my water droplets to just remind me what I need to do so I can keep myself the way I want to be. And um, you could also draw them in your sunshine rays. So the way I'm going to draw my water is I'm going to have nice big droplets of water coming down in between my flowers. Um, so I'm just going to have them, I'm not going to have a watering can, you could draw a watering can if you want, but I'm going to draw them, I'm going to have one here one here, one here, and one here. So that's how I'm drawing my water droplets. And you could draw them all spraying down like a watering can, or you could be doing a sun in the corner with some rays coming out. Have a wee think about how you want to do it, but just draw the vague shapes in for now. Now I've started to draw my flowers in. So they're quite tricky to see because they're quite yellow, which isn't the greatest colour for showing up on camera, which is what I'll remember going forward. Um, so my dandelions are quite Dr. Zeusy, um, and I start off with kind of doing wavy lines going out of the way like that. Woo! In and out. Big wavy zigzags. And then I just do more and more and more of those. Yeah! They all kind of go the same way, but not all the time. Just like that. So you can go for any kind of flower you want. Maybe have a look on the internet and see what flowers you fancy. But I'm going to keep it pretty simple, pretty vibrant. And you can write your little qualities in there if you want to. You can also just maybe write them really small just for you or leave them out and maybe you can just remember it. You don't need to write them in. Um, I'm going to write them in the middle and I'm going to put some little little faces in here in the middle of my flowers just because I think it looks quite nice 
and reminds me that they're nice things. But I'll show you a close up of that, and that might be a bit easier. So, once I've written my little bits in, I've then done a wee bit more to my pot. So I've given it a face, a bit of hair, and I've also expanded it out and given it some Claris Cliff style um, flowers on it. Because I've got a jug, or a knockoff Claris Cliff, and um, it's got these nice patterns on it. And I just thought, if I was a jug with some flowers, that's what I'd want to look like. Um, I realise now it looks a bit like um, Lois from Family Guy, but um, let's just pretend that it doesn't, okay? Um, so have a go at decorating your vase however you want. And maybe have a wee look at some vases around your house or if you've got search any on the internet. Have so I fleshed in my water droplets and I've written in my um, things I need to do. And so I've left that in white, which is quite fiddly. I'd recommend just maybe writing them in. Um, and I've done a bit of a, a two-tone in there, but you do them however you feel like it. You could just write the words in blue, and um, that could be quite nice, um, rather than drawing them as droplets. Um, and the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to colour in my flowers. Okie dokie, here's my finished um, flowers. So I've done them lots of different shades of orange and yellow, just colouring in different bits, left some bits white, made it up quite frankly. And um, I've also decided to add more flowers to my vase because I really don't want it to look like Lois from Family Guy. So I've just kind of gone a bit, a bit of free form here. So don't worry about having too much of a plan for this guys, just see what happens. Um, you can write all your stuff as big or as small as you'd like um, or you can just memorise it for yourself or even just copy one of the ones at the beginning of the video um, because they're really lovely. Um, have fun and try and be kind to yourself guys. Okay guys, hope you have a bit of fun with that. Don't need to take it too seriously, just see what you can do and maybe just try and have a wee think about how you can be more kind and more gentle to yourself and that's what this exercise is really about it's not about beating ourselves up for not doing stuff and all that sort of thing and so lastly here's today's joke a man calls up a flower shop and he says I'd like to buy some flowers and the flower shop man says orchids and the man says no just flowers <laughs> Atrocious. Uh, that's really bad. Sorry. Um, try and have a day better than that joke. It can't be hard. Okay. Bye.